Rhino Gata, it's a something special. It's been a week we have been trying to crack this, and I think we're done here. Am I being over dramatic? Because yesterday I stayed up almost 24 hours trying to crack this. After the giant buck is in the trap, you have to be quick and open that double door. Then you need to place your sacrificed dino in the correct spot. You can move around the trap and improvise the correct spot, but you can also use other traps for your sacrifice dinos now i'm gonna show you how to trap your own dinos for the rhinagata spawn let's start by placing touch foundations on opposing sides and use their snap points to replace them with triangle foundations we just need two stone triangle foundations Then place two high double door frames and then place a triangle roof facing inward and build this for the other triangle foundation. Then we place another double door frame and close it with a hatch frame. Now we'll place the trap doors. This is important. They need to be opened upward. These trap doors make sure the trap doesn't get bucked. This took me a while to figure out. Rhino Gata gets stuck between the double door and door frames without the trap doors. This doesn't happen on the ground. We go 12 high double door frames, not 11 like the other trap. We need to place 12 double door frames. We close the top with a triangle stone ceiling. Now we have built the other side. Place the double door on the second double door frame. We close the trap by placing 24 double door frames on opposing sides. We need to pick up three double door frames here, next to our double door. This opens the way for the Rhinagata. And the final piece of our trap design is the ramps. I recommend placing the first one metal so it can't be damaged. Rest of them wood is fine. Now, what makes this trap great is you can use a tamed Rhinagata to trap a wild one. A special thanks to Captain Fat Dog here is required. This trap is heavily inspired by his ideas. If you want to impregnate a Bronto easily, you have to build these additions. If you want to impregnate a Giga easily, you have to build these additions.
There is a trick here. Depends on the side you placed your foundation. It doesn't let you place a pillar to every corner of the foundation. To fix that problem, you can place a fence foundation and then place a pillar in the middle of that. That's how you can build this anywhere. Now, once the Giga is inside the trap, turn right or left immediately. Don't clip into the trap. That prevents the impregnating attack. If you want to impregnate a Rex, you have to build these additions. If you want to impregnate a trike easily, you have to build these additions. This is the end of this video. Here I showed you how to trap a Rhinagata with another Rhinagata and then impregnate four very important dinos easily. Thank you for watching dear watchers and see you on the next video.